So welcome to my first and hopefully not the last uh, video on how to assemble some of the boards I design. So right now we're going to be doing a solder stencil uh, using let me see this solder paste, low temp, no clean, and this is really good for prototypes and just melts a lot smoother and easier than the, the normal ones. So I already did the 3D jig, very few parts on top, so it just folds over just like that. I lined it up perfect so all the little pins and pads are uh, all lined up properly so the, the solder paste will cover everything. You don't need to do the speaker because uh, the speaker has pads. Uh, you can if you want, but it's going to oxidize if you do, so we best leave that alone. Take our spreader, basically just a plastic credit card. The flux comes in a syringe. I put a little bead across the top. Hold the stencil down and you just glide it across. And you want to avoid the contacts for the speakers. You lift it up and as you can see solder is placed just the right amount in just the right spots. Now we place our components. I like to if it gets a little smudged, not a big deal. The heat will put everything right into place. I like to tap down just a bit, make sure the surface tension from the paste grabs hold of the, of the component. I'm not using the proper LED size because I don't have the right size, but the smaller one will work just perfect. So now the button's got to be a specific orientation. If you notice, it's wider on top and a little narrow on the side. That's the way it's got to be placed. So the the wider parts face up. If I could grab it, that'd be great. Jeez. I made the pads wide enough so if you don't have perfect placement, not a big deal. Once it's heated up, it'll all go into place. The beauty of the solder paste is, as you can see, this is a little crooked. That's totally fine because once you start heating it up and it melts, it'll go right into, into place where it's supposed to be. So, top is done. Take it out of the stencil holder. Careful not to go flying everywhere. Okay. You don't want to heat it up while it's in the stencil, you'll melt that thing. So this is a silicone mat and um, it's, it's pretty pretty heat resistant. Try to focus a little better. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my hot air and you're going to see the magic. 
we're not going to solder this on right now. I don't even know if it goes on the bottom or the top, to be honest with you. But we'll find out once uh, we get to that part. That's a, that's a through hole part, so the solder paste doesn't really affect that at all. That's something I'm going to have to do by hand. So I set my hot air to roughly like 320, 330. It's almost up to temp. Yeah, better make that uh, like 400. I know it's up there, but you, because this is low melt. And we're just going to go over the area pretty quick. The actual 400 degrees is not gonna, ever going to really hit that unless you stay there for a long time on the area. So right now I'm trying to hit the um, ribbon connector at the top there. As you can see, it's already starting to move. The solder is starting to melt. I just want to sweep it back and forth. I'm not on top of the part. I've seen some people do that. You, that way you're generating way too much heat and you're going to melt this thing. This is pretty heat resistant up until a certain temperature but if you're on top of it for too long you're going to start seeing see it to bubble. And since we're using the low temp solder paste this goes pretty quick and you shouldn't have to keep heat over any anything for too long. This way you avoid melting anything plastic. Notice the LED is just boom going right into place. If they were the right size, they'll orient themselves a little better. But as long as they're soldering boat pads, that's all that we care about. pads are dull until they become shiny which means they've melted and that's exactly what we're looking for so once you got the shininess you can just move on to the next one if you have a reflow oven obviously you just throw it in there but hot air works just as well Doing the bottom ones now, it's a little off camera. Over here is a great example. The part is flying around. These move the little lanas, we'll just heat them back up. And we are golden. Try to get that light so it's not so reflective. Okay. I'll try to move the LEDs a little this way so you can kind of see. Hard to see in the camera, but they are they are on there. Buttons are on. Everything is soldered in place. So we're at, we're done with the top. This was the top of the PCB. I'm going to make another video for the backside, which is where all the major components are.